Susan works at a company that specializes in completing various technology projects. Her supervisor has assigned her a project to develop a software application for a new client. She needs a process to follow to ensure she completes the project and doesn't forget any critical steps needed to develop the application. Susan decides to review the Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC, to get guidance on how to implement her project. The SDLC is a methodology that defines the steps of a software development project, and there are several stages. Susan wants to follow the SDLC, but needs to understand each stage in the process before providing instructions to her project team. Each stage in the SDLC produces deliverables and outcomes that are required to begin the next stage in the process. We'll now look at each of these stages and what happens during them. The first stage is requirement gathering and analysis, which is when senior leadership begins planning the project. The client provides the requirements to the organization, and analysis begins to determine the project approach, deliverables, and anticipated final outcomes. Business requirements from the customer are gathered to determine who will use the software and how. The second stage is software design. This is when business architects use the requirements gathered from the first stage to produce several designs of the product. Each design is reviewed in a design document by various internal stakeholders. The best design is then selected. The third stage is coding and implementation, which is when the design documents from the second phase are used to implement the design and produce the code. The code development is the longest part of the SDLC process. After the code is developed, the fourth stage, testing, can begin. The code is tested based on the customer's requirements to ensure the code works according to specifications. After the code is tested, the fifth stage, deployment, occurs. This is when the product is delivered to the customer. The final stage is maintenance or post-deployment. Once the product is in use, the customer may experience technical issues and maintenance of the software is conducted at that time. Now that Susan knows each stage of the SDLC, she is ready to provide instructions to her project team. Susan begins her project with planning and gathering the requirements. While her team is gathering customer requirements for the software, Susan decides to research various methods of the SDLC. There are several SDLC process models a project manager can follow to get through each phase in the SDLC. The process models are different ways to move through each phase, and they depend on the customer's requirements and the length of time the project team has to complete the project. Some of the SDLC models include the waterfall model, iterative model, and spiral model. Susan learns that the waterfall method is a process that follows a step-by-step -step approach, where each step in the SDLC must be complete before the next step can begin. The deliverable from each step is necessary to complete subsequent steps in the waterfall method. The iterative model is a faster approach, in which development begins by implementing part of the software. Full implementation and specifications are not used in the iterative model. Under the iterative model, the implementation process is repeated and new software is developed during each phase of the process. The spiral model includes the development of a prototype and use of the waterfall method. The spiral model is used for more complex and more expensive projects in which a prototype is necessary to begin implementation. Susan decides the spiral model does not apply to her project because a prototype does not meet her customer's requirements. The iterative model would provide too many versions of the software, and the customer does not require these iterations. Susan decides to use the waterfall model to implement her project, which means that each phase of the SDLC must be completed before the project team works on the next phase. The Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC, is a software development process that includes defined steps to develop and complete a software project. The SDLC is the blueprint for the entire project, and it includes six common stages, which are requirement gathering and analysis, software design, coding and implementation, testing, deployment, and maintenance. A project manager can implement an SDLC process by following various models. Some of the methods are the waterfall model, iterative model, and the spiral model. The waterfall model is a step-by-step -step method in which each phase of the process is completed before moving to the next phase. The iterative model produces more versions of the software during each phase, and the spiral model requires an initial prototype to begin the process. The project manager decides which model is used based on customer specifications.